In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a Google Workspace account and then how to purchase a domain during that Google Workspace account creation process and set up a professional email account as well. And this is how you create a professional email account when sending cold emails. Obviously, you don't wanna send cold emails from your personal Gmail or Outlook account. It's really important that you set up a professional email account on a domain, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Additionally, setting up your professional email accounts with Google Workspace is going to ensure that you have optimal deliverability. If you do it a different method, then your emails are more likely to go to spam. If you set up professional email accounts with Google Workspace, they're more likely to hit the primary inbox, and that's really important. One thing that I wanna mention is that if you wanna scale your cold email sending volume, then the way that you do that is by creating additional Google Workspace accounts, and then you're gonna set up an additional email account with each Google Workspace account. And the reason why you do that is because you should only send about 40 cold emails per day per email account, since if you send more than that, you're more likely to go to spam. And then the way that you scale is by having multiple different email accounts each sending about 40 cold emails per day, but because you have multiple email accounts, you're able to send a higher overall volume. Once you have your Google Workspace account set up, you can then connect them to Email Chaser so that they're still being sent through Google Workspace, but because you're connecting your email accounts to Email Chaser, when you create campaigns, your emails are gonna be automatically rotated amongst your different email accounts in that campaign through Email Chaser. Now, let me show you how to set up an account. I'm on Google Workspace and as you can see, the URL is workspace.google.com and you wanna click get started. For this video, I'm gonna be setting up the email account george at emailchasernow.com. As you may be aware, when you're sending cold emails, it's really important to send from secondary domains, not your company's primary domain. And the reason why is that if something goes wrong and you burn your domain, you don't wanna burn your company's real domain because that can affect your deliverability for your entire company. So that's why we set up secondary domains. So in this particular video, I'm gonna purchase the domain emailchasernow.com, which is similar to emailchaser.com, and then set up george at emailchasernow.com, and then I'll use that email account to send my cold emails. For the business name, I'm just gonna put emailchasernow, and then I'm gonna just put just use, fine. And then for region, I have United States currently selected. And here, we're gonna put our contact information, so I'm gonna put my name, and then current email address. Just to be clear here, where it says current email address, that is not the email address that you are creating. This is your existing personal email address, which you want to add here so that when they send you the instructions to set up this Google Workspace account, you can receive those to your existing personal email address. Here you wanna select with a yourcompany.com address. As I mentioned earlier, it's really important that you do not send cold emails from personal email accounts like at Gmail because you're gonna have bad deliverability and also no one's gonna take you seriously, meaning your response rate's gonna be low. You need to set up a professional email account as I'm showing you in this video. So we're gonna select with your company.com address. When it says, does your business have a domain? If you already have a domain, then obviously you would select, yes, I have one I can use. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up this Google Workspace account and this professional email account, and then also buy the domain during this process. So I'm gonna click no, I need one. And now I'm gonna search for the domain that I'm gonna purchase. I'm gonna type in emailchasernow.com, click search. And as you can see, emailchasernow.com is available. It's $12 per year. And I'm gonna click next. This is where I'm just gonna enter my billing information. Once you've added your business information, you then just click the next button. And here where it says username, this is really important because this is what your email address is gonna be. I'm gonna create the email address george at emailchasernow.com. So for username, I'm gonna type in george. And if I then click away, you'll see that it says george and then at emailchasernow.com is also there. So I'm just gonna put just George. And there's different ways you can do this. You can do first name, dot last name, or first letter, first name, first letter, and last name, whatever you wanna do, but I typically just do the first name. And then you're gonna put your password in here as well. Then click agree and continue. 
you're then going to get to this page and Google Workspace recently implemented a change where they by default put you on the most expensive plan and as far as I'm aware they don't let you downgrade during the sign up process so what you have to do is sign up with their most expensive plan and then once your account is created go to the settings section and downgrade to the cheapest plan because as you can see they're trying to charge me almost 22 US dollars per month for this account and if you downgrade to the cheapest plan it's only about seven dollars I think so definitely don't forget to do that after you're done setting up your Google Workspace account. I'm now reviewing the details make sure that you haven't made any mistakes make sure the domain that you're using is correct and then you're gonna put in the card information as you can see under primary contact it says George at emailchasernow.com which is the correct email address that we're creating with this Google Workspace account. And now I'm gonna add our car company card information. You then add your card information and click agree and continue. And it will then create your account. It takes about a minute for this to happen. I'm not gonna add this, I'm gonna just skip this. So I'm gonna click skip for now. I then get to this page and I'm probably going to ignore most of this stuff. It's not really necessary for what we're doing. Our primary purpose with Google Workspace is just to create a professional email account. I'm gonna click your apps on the left side and that's gonna take me to my main dashboard page. And what I wanna do now is I want to downgrade to the cheapest plan before I forget because I don't wanna be charged over $20 every month when it should only cost about $7. One thing that's important is that once you've signed up your Google Workspace account, you're gonna receive an automatic email from Squarespace, and it means you have to verify your Squarespace account. And the reason why that's important is because Squarespace recently acquired Google Domains, Google Domains being the registrar that used to be owned by Google Workspace. So now when you're creating your Google Workspace account, Technically, the domain that you bought is now in Squarespace, so you have to just click the verify button to make sure that that is verified, and that's really important. And now I'm gonna click the return to account dashboard button, and now you should be able to log into your Squarespace account where you can manage your domain. Now the way to downgrade your Google Workspace account is by going to admin.google.com, and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna type in admin.google.com, and you're then gonna to get to this. So I'm gonna click, I understand. And then finally, you're gonna to get to this page and this is the admin for your Google Workspace account, which we just set up. And as you can see here, it's for George at emailchasernow.com. And to downgrade, we're gonna to go to the manage subscriptions button. And I'm gonna click on this one where it says Google Workspace Business Plus and I'm gonna click upgrade or downgrade. Right now, as you can see, we're currently on their most expensive plan or one of their most expensive plans. I'm gonna to downgrade to Google Workspace Business Starter, which is, well, for now it's basically about $6. I'm gonna click downgrade. And then I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna keep going down. As you can see, we're choosing the flexible plan, which is monthly. You can also do annual payments, but for now, in this particular example, I'm just gonna do monthly. And then go place order. Now, if I go back to the home section and I refresh the page and might have updated already. So I'm gonna go back to manage subscriptions. And as you can see, it now says Google Workspace Business Starter, which is the cheaper plan that we've downgraded to. And one other thing I just wanna show you is how you can verify that your professional email, email account is set up correctly. What you wanna do is click here and then click on the Gmail icon and that's gonna open up your email account. As you'll recall, we just set up the email account george at emailchasernow.com, so you'll be re reminded that it says george at emailchasernow.com, and you can send and receive emails in here, just like any regular Gmail account, but as you're aware, this is a professional email account, 
on the domain you just purchased. It's not a personal email account. So when you're sending cold emails, this is gonna have much better deliverability and you're gonna get respect from the leads that you're contacting. They're gonna treat you like a real business person and they're actually gonna to respond to you. If you send cold emails from a personal email account, you will never get responses. I wanna round off this video just by clarifying that once you've set up a Google Workspace account, you're able to manage it at the following URL or domain, which is admin.google.com. And then, as I mentioned earlier, Squarespace acquired Google domains about a year ago and it's recently come into effect, meaning that now when you're setting up a Google Workspace account and you're purchasing your domain during that Google Workspace account creation process, the domain that you purchase, which in my situation here is emailchasernow.com, is now being registered and held at Squarespace, meaning that I still have a Google Workspace account, which has the best deliverability, so my professional email account, george at emailchasernow.com, is still with Google Workspace, but the domain itself is registered at Squarespace, and what that means is that later on in this tutorial video series, when I show you how to add certain records to your domain, such as the SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records, most likely we're gonna go into Squarespace to do that, and if you need to log into your Squarespace account so that you can manage the domain that you just purchased, you can do that very easily.